Good morning, Hornet Nation. I am Sergeant First Class Harris, and welcome to my edition of HNN News. Today is Friday. So welcome to the fabulous Hornet Nation. Today we're going to have a good time. Today we're going to have one of the best TV shows there is, and our rating is going to be up. So booyah, here I am. Dylan Gossett has our weather for this weekend and next week. Today it's going to be scattered showers with the 80% chance of rain with a high of 80 and a low of 62. Friday it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 80 and a low of 72. And Saturday it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high of 81 and a low of 61. And Sunday it's going to be scattered showers with a 30% chance of rain, high of 79 and low of 61. And Thanksgiving break is going to be mostly chilly with a low of 51. Back to you, studio. Thanks, Dylan. FBLA will be selling Santa Grams at lunch during this week of December the 7th through the 11th. Send a candy cane and a personalized message to your friends for only $1. Help support them to go to the state. The day after Thanksgiving is Black Friday, of course. However, some stores are opening on Thanksgiving. Chris Johnson has this story and more as I throw it to Chris. Obviously, I can't catch. Good morning, Hornets. It seems like every year stores are opening up earlier and earlier on Thanksgiving. Eventually, stores won't even be closed on Thanksgiving. With Black Friday being such a phenomenon that some stores are launching sales on Thanksgiving again, which keeps their employees from family dinners and festive celebrations. This year, a bunch of major companies and stores have pushed back against the trend and will stay closed all of Thanksgiving Day. All right, thank you, Chris. The winter formal will be Friday, December the 4th, from 7 to 10 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, get your ticket. Tickets will be $10 during lunch and $15 at the door. Get the $10 discount. Okay, we want you to understand that are you cooking for Thanksgiving this weekend? If so, Aaron Ford brings you a segment of his guide to making a pie. Thanks, and welcome to Aaron's Guide to Making a Pie. We're going to need some egg, two eggs. All right, so now we're going to put in a can of sweetened condensed milk. That look nasty. We want all that. That's the good stuff. Can of pumpkin. Man. All right, so we're gonna need a tablespoon, a teaspoon of cinnamon. Why don't you put too much in there? And we're gonna need half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Ground nutmeg, ain't it? It look like cinnamon to me. Half a teaspoon of ginger. I never even seen this stuff before. And then half a teaspoon of salt. This gonna be the hard part. A little salt. It'll be okay. And we're gonna stir this up. I'm getting tired. That look terrible. <laughs> Man, it smells so good over here. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour this into the, the pie crust. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 45 minutes. I mean, it's almost done. I don't know if I like how this looks. Probably too hot for me to eat right now. Though. This will cool it down. A hot. A hot. And that's all we got for Aaron's Guide to Making a Pie. Thanks, Aaron. Winter sports have started the last few days. Tim Brown has your sports roundup. I'll shoot it to Tim. Good shot, Sergeant Harris. Good pass, Tyler. As you may know, I am Tim Brown, and I have your Hornet sports coverage. 
Uh, Tyler Pine passes the ball to Zakir Richardson, and he bangs a big three. Tyler swings ball to Anthony Allen Jr. on the wing, with the three to give the Hornets the lead. The Hornets begin to sting from each and every direction. Center, Shaquille Patty delivers a vicious, I mean a vicious dunk, which brings the Hornets fans to their feet. The Hornets begin to shoot the lights out as if there is no center. Seniors, Zakir Richardson and Anthony Allen Jr. made a great statement tonight, showing fans and spectators that this season would be not like any other. Your Hornets play November 30th at Point Center High School at 8 p.m. Come out and support. The Lady Hornets basketball team look hmm, very good. The Lady Hornets look to have a season as they did last year, but this year becoming AA State Champions. See a captain, Siobhan Hull, looks to become district champion for her fourth time. The Lady Hornets play December 1st away against Lake Region High School. Now for the Lady Hornets soccer team. The Lady Hornets soccer team has finished the week one and two. But they look forward to a better season than they had last year. Senior captain Bianca Lopez looks to clinch a district championship. Come out and support your Lady Hornets as they will be victorious. Boys soccer team. The Hornets soccer team is currently 6-0-2. And, and if you don't know what that means, they have six wins, zero losses, and two ties. The Hornets are on a verge to create a school record for most wins in a single soccer season. Come out and support your Hornets soccer team as they are a very good program. My name is Tim Brown. That's all I have for you today, Hornets. Back to the studio. Thanks, Tim. As you all know, we had the HBCU Army truck here, and it was a great success as we prepared for the classic this weekend between Bethune, Cookman Wildcats, and the FAMU Rattler. That's all we have for our Thanksgiving news show. Have a good Thanksgiving, and we'll see you after the break. Once again, be safe during Thanksgiving break. And with that being said, I would like to say, it's Friday. It's Friday. So what you going to do? I'm going to get my party on all weekend long. Have a good day, and thank you.